It's like May Day. That's an international workers' day. It's a day to show our solidarity with all workers fighting exploitation, war and racism. Show our solidarity with the people of Spain and Greece who are struggling under the austerity programme inspired by the IMF and the European Union Central Bank. Show our solidarity with workers suffering the effects of globalisation, particularly those in the clothing industry, highlighted by the terrible event in Bangladesh. And there is a storm coming up and there's pressure building up. And basically it's, there's a responsibility on all of us to build a proper political alternative. I don't think there's anybody nowadays uh, doesn't know that austerity is just a fancy word for an unremitting and merciless class war against the vast majority of the population and the interests of the ruling elite. Last year, almost 330,000 people used a food bank. One in five mums skipped meals to feed their children. The reason these people think they can do anything is because we have to address this. An international workers' day, we have to be honest, is because of the crisis of leadership in our own movement. There's nobody in the main political parties speaking out for the vast majority of the population. Thank you, comrades. Um, yesterday was a, a great day for my branch. When John Rogers privatised our home care service, we told him we'd come for him. We told him we'd come for him politically, and we got him. Bye-bye, yeah. John Rogers. Bye-bye, yeah. John Keeley, and bye-bye, yeah. Steve Comer. We'll miss you. I'll say to Dave Prentice of Unison, who said just at the end of last year there was going to be a Unison spring, and they would break the pay freeze. Dave, it is spring, and it's now time to join together and to break the pay freeze and to defeat austerity. The Tories tried to use the Staffordshire scandal to attack the NHS. When they, when they tried to close that A&E, 30,000 people turned out to defend it. And the NUT is getting off its knees, along with the NESUWT, and we are launching a series of strike actions. So the message to Ed Miliband and to some union leaders is this, whose side are you on? Are you on the side of the millionaires or are you on the side of the low paid? Are you on the side of the privatisers or are you on the side of the public sector? Are you on the side of the bankers or are you on the side of working people? We are an organisation that opposes all cuts, no matter who makes them, no matter where they fall. That is a position of principle. Ordinary people should not be paying the price for a crisis we didn't cause. And then on the November, there's going to be a national strike. And by that time, we hope other trade union leaders will have seen our fight as their fight and will not be on our own in November. We'll have other unions with us. It means defending uh, what, what is ours by all methods. Uh, uh, because the ruling class use all methods to attack us. Yes, we believe in civil disobedience, but let me tell you this. The best form of civil disobedience and the one that works best is coordinated industrial action across the public and private sector. And we would say today in the TUC, that is your policy. It's now time to implement that. And you should not just discuss the practicalities of a general strike, but organise in one. If we organise a one-day general strike followed up by coordinated action and we show the vast potential of our movement, we are the millions and they are the few.